Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and a warm welcome to the grand finale of Ghana's Most Beautiful 2023. Over the years, GMB has showcased our culture, our stories, and our values. This dream has come alive, evolving into a profound narrative that celebrates Ghana in all its glory. Each performance, each story told, reflects the depth and diversity of our beloved nation. We began this journey with a selection of vibrant souls, each narrating a unique story, echoing the melodies of their regions. Their dedication, passion, and talent have captivated us time and again. And now we stand on the brink of a defining moment with our remaining contestants ready to engrave their names in the annals of GMB history. To our valued viewers who have been steadfast companions on this journey, your enthusiasm, feedback, and votes have shaped the essence of Ghana's new beautiful. As we near the pivotal point tonight, it's essential to remember the role you play. If you haven't yet, download our TVP reality app and make your choice known. Your favorite contestant stands on the cliff of destiny waiting for your support. Every vote is a voice, and it's never too late to make it heard. Ghana's most beautiful, stirred by our firm commitment, is more than a competition. Our finalists with their incredible journey epitomize the spirit of Ghana. Their passion, tenacity, and elegance have set benchmarks that will inspire future participants. As we immerse ourselves in tonight's grandeur, remember that each contestant, irrespective of the outcome, is a beacon of hope and a symbol of our rich heritage. Let's cherish this evening, champion our values, applaud our finalists, and seize every moment. Cast your votes, rally behind your champions, and may the deserving contestants shine brightest. Thank you for being part of this enriching voyage. Welcome to the mesmerizing grand finale of Ghana's Most Beautiful 2023. Thank you. She's a warrior. Yeah. 
Representative in this year's Ghana's most beautiful. Zin Mia, relax to Mia, Kadi Manga. But whilst you're seated, do not forget to vote for me to win this competition and take the crown back to the northern region. Upuiza Pumpkapai, Himaraba. Very special, she's a queen from her motherland. She just wishes she'd come and see. She's the backbone of the homeland, wise enough to be a ruler, a mother, a warrior. I go Ghana money, Bono money, me mamu nina at Snasi. It is the finale of Ghana's Most Beautiful 2023, and I welcome you all. My name is Fatima, representing the Bono region in this year's Ghana's Most Beautiful. Thank you. She's a backbone of her homeland, wise enough to be a ruler, a mother, a warrior. She's a, she's a warrior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's an African girl. God is most beautiful as you. God is most beautiful as Yeah, 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 yeah. God is most beautiful. Yeah, God is most beautiful. Yeah, covered, covered, Upper East region. Ghana dem so wusa into the kin kin ni azane ni ete Ghana's most beautiful finale. Yaku sang apa is be velik aduani giwana beleme zinim kana for ma fusud. Thank you. Sita voted him. Do have a lovely evening. She's an African today. Very special, she's a queen from her motherland. Oh, she does speak, she commands and respects. The whole world stops and stirs. She's the backbone of her home. You can do better. And a big thank you going out to Peniel Van Kamp of Darkness and Modeling Agency for putting that stunning opening together for our ladies. All right, so 16 years ago, that beautiful desire and passion 
to celebrate and exhibit our Ghanaian culture gave rise to this beautiful beauty pageant known as Ghana's Most Beautiful. And since its inception, this platform has also nurtured, flourished, and made sure that young women like myself are given the platform to shine and also live an indelible mark on their communities. And I'm very excited to tell you that for 16 years, it's been a smooth and jolly ride, Cookie. Anissa, are you excited to be here? I'm super excited. Are you excited to be here? Fantastic. So just like Anita started, in its 17th year, Ghana's Most Beautiful took a remarkably historic turn. So for this year, we started with 32 ladies, of course, after an intense regional search. Then right in the second week, Anita, if you remember, I remember eviction that. fell on 16 of them, leaving us with 16. And eviction has carried on a necessary part, of course, of this process. And tonight, we have the final five for Ghana's Most Beautiful 2023. Who is winning? Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Anita, let's see whose fans are the loudest. Who is right. winning? Is it Nura? Who is winning? Is it Nura? Is it Kwatima? Is it Nayale? Oh. Is it Salam? Wow! Is it Adranigi? <laughs> oh! Wow! Give it up for yourselves, give it up for yourselves. Thank you so much for showing up and showing out, of course, for your favorites tonight. This is Ghana's Most Beautiful 2023, coming to you live from the National Theater of Ghana. Settle down and let's get down to business, ladies and gentlemen. Settle down and let's get down to business. Thank you so much for your cooperation. Now, all through the journey, all through the 16 weeks, our judges have been with us. Now, this particular guest judge has been with Ghana's Most Beautiful right from the beginning. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the one and only Linda, Linda Ampa. Auntie Linda, good to see you. Good to have you here this evening. I have a trick question for you. Can I ask you? Can I go ahead? Okay, so what qualities must the queen possess? Okay, settle down. Please settle down. Especially from the wings. We need to hear the judges. So please settle down so we can hear them. Thank you. Aunt Linda, please carry on. Yeah, so I mentioned grace, poise, self-control, command over your languages, intellectually astute. So everywhere you find yourself, whatever conversation is going on, you should be able to contribute. And then always remember that you're a role model. And therefore, everything you do in life, somebody is watching. That's what we look for. Fantastic. Please, let's appreciate Aunt Linda one more time. With all the noise, do it for Aunt Linda. And of course, yeah. to our original two. And let me just chip this in. Our judges tonight have 60% of the power out of 100%. And so when they are talking, allow them to talk. And you, right here inside the National Theatre, you have 40%. And also watching us from home, you have 40% voting power. Now moving on to a very beautiful Jibodi Koku Dosu. A round of applause for Jibodi. It's great to have you here tonight. So but much. what, from your point of view, will set that one lady apart? that will make us even crown her as queen tonight. Anita and Cookie, oh my God, I have to say it. You guys look amazing. Thank you. Don't they? For me, tonight already shows 
as these five finalists came out, you can tell that they already represent their community, they represent their region greatly. What we, <laughs> what we need now, oh, I'm not speaking Janet's English. What we are looking for tonight is someone who is going to go further than that. They will champion their community, they will champion their country, and they will champion the continent. And that is what we are looking for tonight. So we are excited already with the five of them, and we are looking, we are saying all the best to them. The room shows what they represent. Their regions are here. They should make them proud. All right, thank you so much, Jibodi. And to the ever black beauty, Janet Sunkwa Mills. What vocabulary are we using exactly. tonight? It's a mesmerizing. Give us a key give word us, for give tonight. Us, give us. We need it, we need it, we need it. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's so exciting to be here. And I must give it up for that opening performance. That was so full of energy, and I feel energized already. And throughout this competition, uh, I would say that there's been ebbs and flows, there's been vivacious performances, there've been performances that gave us goose pimples. And these five ladies here, tonight is anybody's game, because all of them deserve to be here. So I'm excited, and as usual, I say, let the show begin. I think we're going to have an exciting night. Let the show All begin. Right. Definitely. And also remember that this is the grand finale of Ghana's Most Beautiful. We're right here at the National Theatre. We're broadcasting live on TV3 Ghana. Don't forget to follow our social media pages for all the updates as well. It is TV3 Ghana. And remember, the judges have 60% power and you have 40%. The voting lines are still active, so keep voting for your favorite contestants. And the short code is star 713, star 13 hash. My name is Anita Ekia Ekufu. I'm doing this with a beautiful one and only Cookie T. You're very welcome. Let the show down begin. All right. This is what I need you to do for me tonight. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, okay, okay. We appreciate the love. You can explain Taya. We are getting straight into business. This is still GMB 2023 20, coming to you live from the National Theater of Ghana. Tonight, bold statements are going to be made on stage. And of course, the best queen would carry the crown, the car, and the money that comes with it. They've been through 13 vivacious weeks. And tonight is the last task. It's a very simple one. We are left with five regions in this competition. Ghana is rich in culture and heritage. Tonight, your favorite contestant has only one simple task, to skillfully promote her region, to be able to entice and, of course, encourage local and international investors. Starting the performances for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, She's fought tooth and nail to make it to the final five. And tonight, history is about to be made again from the Upper East region. Let's welcome Adwanigi! Yele, Tener was some bang, a yi sande mandana, in ampo mumfo, apo mumfo, till I got out of basico. The day yele mingre, a yi sa, apa is a duma, la gana duma, yamatarma wana tata tata, and tawa paz nadare, pekala nasco, za bora yamaza, 
I would especially want to thank the President of the Regional House of Chiefs and its members, all Upper East Regional Chiefs and Queen Mothers, the Overlord of the Kusang Traditional Area, Parayang Nap, Zugurang, Asigri Abogorak, Azonka II, Okawa Na Amnam, No Na Amnam Kababeti Hiwusa, Yana Abana, Puana Abola Suburi, No Puana Abnam, Winnike, Winne Barak, all ministries in the Upper East Region. Christ Apostolic Church pastors and members. Oh, when I'm Kamala Yawusa Wusa, Kosan Youth Association, Kasna Nankana Youth Association, Talisin Nabdan Youth Association, Fafaduma Youth Association, Tongo Gold Miners, when I'm Kamala Yawabe, Nia Suguru, Nia Nova, staff and students of Kumasi Technical University, Gore Senior High School, and MP Preachery, my able team at Wanigi. Individual voters. Maduma, the suburb of Bolga da, Zebula da, Vinaba da, Amasama Onios Market, Ashama, the Kigana Duma Zaza, Posia Zozo. I am overwhelmed and excited for making it to the grand finale. Beniame, for Yetia, the Dev Sanger, to the top of the Tunga, to Tunga and say, Yes, it's a good way to end the show. And I'm excited to talk about my region the land of unique culture, tourism, and heritage. Please, today is the grand finale. I would ultimately give my best. I need your love, your support, and vote to win the ultimate. Kindly vote for me by dialing star 713 star 13 ash or download the TVT reality app. Play your vote to Suma Suma Boma. Apa is Nerva. You know what, Paar? Did it to you, my peer, Walla? Terrican Nala, your partner in Nora Yuma, Sugura Yuma, let you vote it in Nala, Lilip Upper East Region. Four years was so, and four years was so. Barca, a Kiali. Thank you. showing us the promised land from today this will be our home and we shall call it the upper east region this is how our ancestors discovered the upper east region uh, oh. now let's move to my generation the modern generation upper east ghana <laughs> judges, dignitaries, 
present and online audience, and staff of Media General, thank you for honoring my invitation to be at this conference. My name is Prince Asigri Abogorago Azoka II. So, I would first of all, I would first of all want to thank the President of the Regional House of Chiefs, my father, Chana Pio, and all the Paramount Chiefs for delegating me to champion this event that I believe would be a spotlight in our region. One will ask, why this conference? We are basically here to launch and plan for the biggest event in Ghana, December in the Upper East region. We seek to promote culture, tourism, and agriculture. <laughs> Introduce the Upper East region. It's the third smallest region in Ghana, made up of 15 districts, with Bogatanga as our regional capital. We are known for our rocks and clay, our rich culture, historical tourist sites, and diverse diversity. We are the only region in Ghana that shares borders with two different countries Burkina Faso to the north and Togo to the east. We are the meeting point for Mali to Burkina Faso, traveling to the north. We also share the white and red river Volta, passing through to the lake Volta. Jump! 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 We are Quicker! producers of gold. Quicker! Quicker! And we are known Quicker! by our popular slogan. We are known by our popular slogan of the south that we are hospitable. Balam, balam. We are known by a popular slogan of the Southness that we are hospitable, hardworking, respectful, and supportive as our women. <laughs> Beauty is their second name. My region stands out. Wela, 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 wela. My region stands out because of the number of ethnic groups and languages spoken. When you visit the custom land, we greet. Quite and respond together. Quite. The Frafra says Zanure. The Kusasi say is Zanur. And the Kusasi say Fuzam Zam with the response. Nah. 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 Fuzam Zam. Nah. Now to discuss the main event. December in the Upper East region. We chose the month December because most of our festivals, such as Fiok, Adakoya, Ten Lewer. Someone Pete are celebrated within this month. This presents you the opportunity to witness our display of horn dance, our cow horns, our smoke regalia, and our weapons. And then we entertain you with our two string guitar, like in a service music. Do the My father, my father, the way you do, it is not fine. The way you do. It is not fine. Kai bata soi. Sing it, sing it, sing it, sing it. Kai. Boya. You should all know that we are predominantly farmers. Even though we have just one farming season. But with the tonal irrigation dump and via dump, we are able to do all round farming. It will amaze you that in the Upper East region, there's a community called Tenshi that has the same spelling and pronunciation as Tenshi in the Greater Accra. But this land is fertile for the growth of cocoa. I said cocoa in the Upper East region. Plantain, yam. Facilitatingly, the Upper East region boasts of a river goddess that blesses us with fish every Friday, with or without a sea. We are so fish farmers, as easy as any farming community. We are not boastful, but undoubtedly, we are the leaders in production of vegetables, animal railing. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, a hungry man is an angry man. So after the hard work at our, our farms, we harvest our crops and prepare towards Zafi with habisco soup and guinea fowl. Or kumkorele dafi dafi with cow meat. And then we serve you with fresh.
fresh pito, original Ghana pito, which is better than approved in heaven. That is why our very own Atongo Zimba said, In heaven, there is no beer. No beer. That is why we'll be drinking all the beer. Yes, in heaven, there is no beer. That is why we are drinking all the beer here. My investors, when it comes to tourism, you can't count three regions without mentioning my region. We are known for our friendly crocodile pond that attracts millions of people tubing in into my region. The Pico Slavery Camp that shares reflections of how our ancestors went through pain and dark parts of the transatlantic slave trade. Our wonders, rocky mountains and landscape for mountain climbing and hiking. How can I talk about the Upper East without our Siriku Poetry Art Center, where beautifully handmade smocks, just like what I am wearing, are made? Baskets are weaving, hats, animal skin for sandals, shoes, and many other things. Then when you're, not, when you're done, you get our natural sheer butter for your skin, your hair, and your body. You can even use it for cooking. You know, you can't cook your food without our dawa dawa because our dawa dawa gives you some taste in the food that you have to get it. <laughs> the Wignaba Echo Village that houses wild animals that even in the dry season, you find our animals coming out, elephants coming out to visit us in our homes just to have a taste of water. This and many more. I, I do places in my region that you should visit. Now, my investors, you know that tourism is a wonderful place for a revenue. So I would want us to collaborate so that we can rebrand, renovate, and maintain our tourism side so that we can create job opportunities for the youth and also create exciting experience like canopy walks, cliffs, crafts, and more. So people will get so attracted to come to the Upper East region. When it comes to agriculture, ha, we have the land. Somebody said we have the land. Have the land. Yes. So agriculture, we have the meat factory. We can collaborate to revamp the meat factory where we can produce Ghanaian frozen or fresh meat. And the animal skin can be used for production of sandals, bags, and many other things. The cotton factory to produce our own clothes. The tomato factory where we can produce our tomato products. My plea with the government is that eh, hmm, planted for food and jobs should not be limited to only the farmers, but also extended in school. I decided to embark on an agriculture project in senior high school because I wanted them to learn how to use smart agriculture, practice what they learn in the classrooms in the farm, and also help reduce shortage of food. You see, in my region, the lands are there. So let's collaborate so that we can help these schools make utilization of their farms. And then it can go ahead to reduce importation from other countries. Before I take my seat, ah. you know, Talata, eh, let me see, Hubalabe, why they can fool all the to sand to Malaya? Get to buy yet, but you ain't want to find, 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 find. Eh, bala, bala, sota, sota. You see, in my region, we are hospitable, we are respectful, and we are loving. You can't visit my region without taking a gift from us. So we are presenting this gift to you. Whenever you go back, you sit back and you remember. Remember the Upper East region and come back. But before then, please stand whilst we entertain you with our bongo. Our bongo ma, Bayana. Her name is Adwanigi from the Upper East Region of Ghana, opening the performances for tonight. Show her some love. Give it up for Adwanigi.
All right. Let me go to the judges. Janet, I'm coming to you for our very first comment of the night. What a way to open the show, Nigi. You know what I love about you? You have a certain innate ability to kind of metamorphosize yourself into all the different roles that you play. Throughout the season, any role that you projected there, you behaved like the chameleon. You change your colors and you adapt depending on where you find yourself. And that I love about you. I love to was Afidami and Ayoyomi and Kuka. I love that. <laughs> so I'll be visiting your region very soon. I think, <laughs> I think you marketed your region very, very well. I'm a marketer myself, so I was uh, looking out for that unique thing, that unique thing that you're selling. And what I take home is that you're selling diversity. True or false? True. True. So thank you. You did very well, Nige. Congratulations. Okay. Congratulations coming from Janet to Adwanigi. Linda, can I pick your comments on Adwanigi's performance? Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. I think you looked so beautiful. You're a prince, right? I think more like king probably would have been appropriate. Anyway, um, I got your culture a bit. I think it came through quite well. However, I think that you overemphasized uh, farming. There are many other things in your region that is attractive, but you placed a lot of emphasis on that. Maybe that's the idea. Um, you also spoke about other things in tourism. For investment, Anybody who's putting in money as an investor is looking at return on investment. You didn't give any figures on that. So if I come and invest, what am I getting back? So you did not give me any statistics, nothing. So then it's not attractive to an investor. And then also I think that your, your, your level of um, sound, you should come down a little bit. But I think you did a beautiful presentation. The setup was quite elaborate. Congratulations. Thank you. Give it up for Adwanigi one more time as she goes backstage. Remember that right after the last performance for the night, voting will close. Tonight, you've got 40% wherever it is that you're voting from. Make sure, of course, you're doing it for your preferred contestant. Now, coming up on stage, she's been a warrior all through the 13 weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, she's from the Northern region. Of Ghana, give it up for Nura. The bank from Ben Yale, Nubia, Munzo Tisuna, Munkanyun Kura Tabra, Dania and Agarba the second. The bomb in the Nunton Suzanne Nenema, Tindan Numa, Asan Zen Numa. Greater Accra Dagban Nanama. MP Nimza Habambe Northern Region, Bantabla Songdama. From Honorable Habib, Honorable Farouk, Honorable Aziz, Honorable Suhuyini, Honorable Tampuli. Also, to Honorable Napaga Sulemana, Haji Abibata of Maslok, Al Haji Farouk of Hajbord. Also, to Haji Feruza and the DCE for Savigu. Nusokam Zaha Nubutu Boli, Empire Pum. The top song Shelly in Melted Mama. Thank you all so much. Throughout my journey in the Ghana's most beautiful competition, I have blossomed from week one through to the grand finale and transformed into the true definition of Ghana's beauty, Africa's pride. And all of this is thanks to your unflinching support in prayers and votes. Tasked to sell my region and project my culture, my performance tonight promises to be a stellar one, encapsulating the unique, resplendent and alluring aspects of the cultures in my region. My people, we have come this far, and so let's not let our hard work go to waste. Please continue voting massively for me, so we can finish the grand finale in the grand style. Dimya Solo, 
Nkana edu ndoyani. Nto bani. Nsuhri ya jande jande. Ni yisi zani. Nta tsongma. Kata nangden na jen nang GMB. Kata zang jashe ima. Nlaksu kuna northern region. Vote me up, Pam Yongma, and Tama, please continue voting massively for me tonight so I can bring the crown home to the northern region. And to vote, kindly dial my name, Nura, to the short code star 713 star 13 hash. Alternatively, you can download the TV3 Reality app on Google Play Store or the Apple App Store to vote and monitor the votes. I was once asked, Are you sure you can do this? And I said, with my team, yes, we can. Please, Apple, goodbye. Now, when listen, thank you. to take you all on a journey with me to the warm climates of a vast arable land, the greatest kingdom in Ghana, with over 700 years of great history. You're welcome to my home, the northern region. I brought with me a sign language interpreter, so no one is left out on this fun-filled, entertaining, and educative trip. For an unforgettable experience, I'll engage all of your five senses. In the meantime, let's continue this journey with our Lexus. Are you ready? But before anything else, you need to learn something about my culture. You see, the density of the northern culture is evident in how it has been well preserved and passed through generations. And this is largely thanks to our clan of musical orators called the Lungse. Mbalonga, Techama. Tao. Father taught me numerous cultural dances, just like this Bamaya dance. I evidence of how our culture is transferred to our younger generation. Oh, 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 oh. Looks like our car is here. Come, 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 come. Come, come, come. Ah! Now, let us drive through our large yeah. farmland, yeah. which contributes a significant yeah. percentage to Ghana's agriculture and food industry. Ah, speaking of food, have you had the opportunity to taste our famous TZ, Satul Gimin Salum Eh? And the delectable Gora, Nyombeka and Kwelgushin Kafa. Ah, and to eat my personal favorite, the Northern style. First, you will lay down your mat, establish your wasawasa, summon some sobulo and zimkum, and get your S P O O N spoon. And when you dig into this meal, la ilaha illa la. Kai, nasim betunya. Nasim shod betunya. Auntie Linda. Don't I look so gorgeous? Look at my outfit. You see, looms just like this one are used in the production of our elegant regalia. 
they can be worn traditionally, formally, and even in our contemporary fashion. What's this? The tradition, the elegance, the class, in all of its glory, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Northern Smock. Now it's time for us to gallop on our horses. We need to get into our celebrations. Are we ready? <laughs> now join me when it comes to celebration in this country, Ghana Zaha, Northern Region, Tendamanyale. It is us. We have entertainment use for each town and over 50 varieties of musical instruments, dances, and an exceptional taste in music. We entertain ourselves during celebrations such as Bo'um, the recently witnessed Damba, and the Najeli festivals. Shall we entertain ourselves? Are you ready? I can't hear you. Shall we entertain ourselves? Stand up and dance. Hey, 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 hey. Abba! Such a beautiful culture. My people, in my village and my place, my language, we say samba as visitors. We call visitors samba. This is in samba. Before we go sightseeing, come, join me. Let us polish our beautiful Ghanaian skins with the finest shea butter from Northern Region. Your skin would even shine brighter than the sun. I'm not lying. Now that we are ready, let's continue. Let's continue. Now you know that many people assume that because the Northeast and Savannah regions were separated from the Northern region, we no longer have tourist attraction sites. Ah ah, come nothing ya. Come and see for yourself. Auntie Janet, did you know that in the Northern region, we have a preserved history of slave trade at the Sakuli Slave Wells? Ah, uh huh. We also have the monument of the Greenwich Meridian passing through Yendi, as well as the mighty Nagbewa Palace. And not forgetting the trailblazing Red Clay Studios, which has collected pieces of Ghanaian history and put it together in an art form. Now, for relaxation purposes, you can visit all of our hotels, lodges, eco resorts, parks. The list goes on and on and on and on. But for a traditional Northern experience, you can visit our state of the art architectural homes which can make you feel one with nature while contributing to sustainability. And don't think I have forgotten about the Tamale International Airport. Now, no more passing through the corners. For international tourists, the flight is straight to the northern region. Now, as Auntie Jibodi would always say, you have got what it takes. You have got it all. Similarly, the northern region has got what it takes to be West Africa's number one destination for tourism with huge investments to improve and maintain our tourism industry and with support from the Ministry of Tourism. Indeed, the northern region has got it all. Come. Come here now. Come to the iron ore region of beauty, where we serve you divine hospitality. As our actions target the SDGs, steadily solving problems in our communities, we stand with our heroes in society, solidarity, as a family in unity, we are in one harmony. And so I beam with pride. And so I beam with pride at all the things we bring forth. I guess it is true when they say, 
that the best is from the north. Ghana, Samia, Ghana, Samia, Ghana, Kawula. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate Nura from the northern region of Ghana. Okay. Chigwadi, let me come to you for this one on Nura. Nura, as you said, I'll always say you are a great performer. Thank you. I want to say that I love. I like the fact that, one, you used inclusivity by bringing in sign language and children. That was the first significant thing for me. The second significant thing is I saw you put in a lot of entertainment. So I saw music, food, clothing, and then I saw celebrations, and then I saw the entrance. I saw you ended with an amazing spoken word as well, basically poetry to end. One of the things that I would say that I took from it because I would have wanted to know what are the three priorities, for example, that you want investors to invest in. But what I took away was that you are giving investors options so they could choose options from tourism, options from celebrations. I would have wanted to see you market to the investors and tell them maybe these are the two, three things. But when it came to inclusivity, delivery, Adding children, celebrations, entertainment, spot on. You've made your region proud. Congratulations. You've made your region proud. Congratulations. Okay, I think I'll come to Linda for this one. All right. Nura, congratulations. Thank you, Auntie Linda. Um, I agree with you, buddy, 100%. Um, how you ended was very, very beautiful, spoken word. The only thing is that I think you lost us at some point. I think it was too long. So it became a little bit boring, but otherwise you had everything, entertainment, uh, food, music, you got everything. So next time, put a little more energy and then maybe cut it a bit shorter. Okay. All right, congratulations. Okay. Let's appreciate Nura one more time as she goes backstage. If you're tipping Nura for the crown, you know exactly what to do. Star 713, star 13 hash. The TV3 reality app is also available. Please Hi, vote massively. You. Vote in bulk for Nura. I hinted already. Of course, we are closing a vote in right after the last performance. So please make sure your 40% is counting tonight. She's always had a smile on her face, but she has proven in all 13 weeks that she's the Mama Yakagba of the Volta region. Ghana, ladies and gentlemen, Salam from the Volta region. Ago Negana Zuko, Amuganto Matoka enye jijo ga manya glo nambe mi le megbenye chogo mejejame vase de fifia ma wona ira mi kata the awo mafia of angulo the agbugbu mafia of asogbe tagbi dagadu of akpini tagbi fiti of aflawu tagbi dojavuji atifu evelia of abo tagbi butuvo evelia of glipome all mps DCs, MCs in the Volta region, GRA Custom Division, Mrs. Ando, CEO of WIS Klagon, Team Selom, fellow Jolalians, fellow retractors, past students of Abo Arusi Daisy School, Gada Foma, Ajako Foma. I want to say thank you so much for the support so far. 
God bless you all. Tonight, I am taking you to the most beautiful and serene region in the whole of Ghana, the land of exciting culture and breathtaking landscapes. Egbenye finale. Afia midofia ezukiti katanya. Tana kuopo kahomo. Nadal star 713 star 13 hash. Ne nadako na selo. Alo na download me to app le Google Play Store alo App Store. Ne nadako na selo. Vote massively for selo so that we can bring the crown back to the water region. Akpena mikata. Thank you. Naho. Precisely fishing and farming. Miawe le doji lo. Yo. Dona la kuse da ke fudoka malio. Made ko fudoka na yede. Akuse ko maye. Mai ma wado. Mai ma wado la ba ko la fiki da konya ma. Mai ma wado. Mai ma wado la ba ko la fiki da konya ma. Dona la kuse da ke fudoka malio. Made ko fudoka. Our elders who are industrious, our young people are very hard working. We are into handicrafts like carpentry, weaving, tailoring, and many others. If you are looking for a good wife, say, eh, my reaching is the best to look out for because we are noted for the most beautiful, well mannered. Hard working women of GTP thousand years marriage material. Yeah, so, ah. yeah. If you doubt this, ask yourself why you call us number nine. Did you know that the very first winner of Miss Ghana pageant, Monica, is from my region, the Volta region? We say beauty with brain, so yes. yes, of course. But she's just a tip of the iceberg because my region has produced a lot of great people in this country. For example, His Excellency Jerry John Rollins, of blessed memory, who Emma, is the Emma. father of democracy. Hey, you better stop when I'm talking to you. Yes. Do you remember him? Yes. Whose plays have not only graced the stages, but have left a mark in the literary world. Philip Beho, Efre Mamu, and that charismatic actor, John Tumelo, is from my original. Ah. Don't let me get started on Chifago Mashi and Chibodi Dosu, our shining star. So, ah. Because we have received the rich ever training. But our people are keen on 
formal education. It all bad day, a war war. So could then you see all done do. It means we are talking about our deepest rooted belief in education. We have prestigious schools like Homa Wuli, Mauko Girls, Ola, Bishop Herman, and my very own Ketasko. Chololi, now or never. never. Yes. No. I know that. Ah, ah, ah. Po, 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 po. You are thinking about Ketasko boys, eh? Because I'm a sick Ketasko. Ah, our special are Bobby. Ah, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. On top of Nato, a Bobby. But for three to two, we are working. That is our signature food. But we have others like Jengbla with Agala, Yaka Yake with Amadechi, Yaka Lokota, Mafle Yaka Loko. And if you are in a hurry eh, eh, to grab our street foods, we have snacks like Agbali Kaklo. Achififi, ah, starch corner, and you can wash it down with our local mud called aliha, ah, and we are viviala. Oh, after enjoying all this food, you can enjoy our melodies. Hakajim nele, local, local, contemporary. We have it all. Enter the future with Stone Boy. Get them with I bet at them and feel natural with Miss V. But wait, our local music connects us to our history and heritage. Boba Tommy Lafuma, Mieli. Now, now relax. You can now embark on an epic adventure to conquer Mount Kemi, Mount Adaklu. Ah, don't tell me that you are tired yet, too, because we are now going to climb the granddaddy of them all, Mount Afaja, the highest mountain in Ghana. After that, you can have a refreshing bath in Blue Waterfalls, West Africa's highest fall. And after yeah, that, yeah. you can immerse yourself in Ote waterfalls or have a smooth roller coaster walk on a major canopy walk. I don't know why people travel to UK and the rest. While we have small London in my region called a where snows falls every now and then. You think I'm lying? Come, come, just come and see for yourself. My region has the most beautiful, neatest, and serene water body so in the whole of Ghana. Ah, you can run, run on the Keta beaches. Ah, or take a dive in the Man Made Lake, the largest in the whole world, Lake Volta. Ah. Or you can take a canoe cruise on the Keta Lagoon. Huh. And if you are interested in history, you can visit Fort Prisonstein and listen to intriguing but disturbing stories of slave trade at our Toko Slave Markets. Huh. Follow me.
me, follow me, follow me, follow me. So the Kete Weaving Village at Petwe, where our people get adorned in our beautifully woven Kete, which is displayed during festivals like Hokbe Chocho, the Visa, Teza, and many others. During these occasions, our chief grace their presence to mark their traditional authority and governance over the people. And after all of this, you can relax yourself in some of our amazing hotels like Ellie Beach Resorts, Holy Trinity Spa, Volta Serene, Sky Plus Hotel, and many others where you can have an amazing experience. But you know something, Nana, I cannot live here eh, without performing our popular Agbaja dance for you. Abafia Milia! Emieli! Naho! Naho! Horodio! We are one Volta, one united people. Together, we can do great things. Ah, 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 but wait now. I cannot live here without inviting you, you, you. Like I tell me, fa, come and explore and experience my region. And to all the investors, please come and invest in my region for us to grow together. Thank you. Naho, naho. Mama ya kagwa, Mama ya kagwa from the Volta region. Show Salam some love. Show her some love. Thank you so much. All right, settle down and let's listen to the judges. Now speaking on behalf of all local and international investors, Janet, what would you say about oh. Salom's selling skills oh, of the Volta region? Yesue. The Volta region for GMB 2023. Ah. Janet, let's hear you. You know what? I'm seeing another side of Salon tonight. Because throughout the 
competition. Salom, you have been so graceful, so beautifully confident. You are such a zippy representation of the everyone. And I would say, <laughs> Salom, you know, I've traveled many African countries. So some will sell the Victoria Falls, some will say the Maasai Mara, but what is so beautiful about Ghana and what makes me so proud is that no tourist will come to this country and ever have a dull moment because we have it all. And this is what you've just displayed. I have a long list of everything you said. I'm not going to repeat everything you said, but you captured the essence of the Everland. And I'm telling you today, most of the time, we go to the western region, we go to the central region, that is so fine, but we haven't discovered an inch of the Volta region. So well done for projecting your region so proudly. Well done coming from Janet. Jibwadi, Jibwadi, let me come to you. I think I'll add on to what um, Janet said, one of the things that I have seen, um, Selom, is that you are, throughout the competition, you came gracefully. Today, you came powerfully. So, what you, what you did, What you did was to highlight agriculture and fishing, which in a, in a way I've never heard before, but the way you combine the music, the food, well done to make your region proud. All right, give it up for Salem one more time as she goes backstage. You've seen three of the contestants tonight. So here's where I'll ask you, who's taking the crown? Who's taking the crown? Is it the Volta region? Nothing region? Upper East? We'll take a break, we'll be right back. This is GMB 2023, ladies and gentlemen. So remember, this is the grand finale of GMB 2023. But even before we move on to the next contestant, let's say thank you to some of our sponsors. And so a big thank you going out to GB Foods, producers of Gino and Techno as well. A big thank you going out to Techno for sponsoring Ghana's Most Beautiful, to GTP. And GTP um, is providing all the fabrics you're seeing tonight and to Unilever. Mankish Impex Limited, producers of Heaven Insect Size Spray and Enapa Foods, NS Chemist, Alpha Industries, Union Beverages, uh, producers of Vitamilk, Gold Coast Foods, producers of Sankofa Spices, Ghana Herb, Dragnet, GMR Industries, and Shalina. Well, tonight, the ladies have the task of selling their regions and making their regions very appealing to investors. The next lady coming up, ladies and gentlemen, is Na Yele from the Greater Accra region. Cha, 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 no manya blau. Cha, cha, no manya blau. Cha, no manya blau. This is how far the Lord has brought us. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Nime, Name, Cheme, Nyeme, Ganamon B, Gadang will be, Keswoloi Fe. In Kenya, you adore Aguagui, Yenya Swomo, Oshiki Fo, Solemo, Kebonin your fee, say, Kajashi J, Kebashi Bene, Yehova adjoin your Baba O. The Gar Paramount Chief. Ni Taki Tekochu, the second, Gramanche. Ni Asre Boy, the seventh, Asre Manche. 
the Ado family, Rad, neighbor Chelaye, Serge Atukwe Kloti, the Accra Mayor, Honorable Elizabeth Nakwa Choi Saki, Ni Adote Odawulu, Halifax and Sir Ado, all traditional leaders of the Dangme community, all students of Eating Complex School, Agri Memorial AME Zion Senior High School, Amosa, University of Ghana students and alumni, School of Performing Arts, Political Science Students Association, University of Ghana Debate Society, Mount Calvary Cross Ministry, Honorable Obama, Ghana Exports Promotion Authority, the Greater Accra Regional Minister, Municipal and District Chief Executives, my MPs, my mothers at the Makola Market and the various markets in the Greater Accra Region, Timna Ajetle, my family, friends, and every one of you supporting me. I express my profound gratitude and my God will forever bless you. This is the much anticipated grand finale, which means we are in a very crucial stage. So please vote for me massively. Oh, Ima, Impa, Ming Panyafai, Nyafao Shiki, Aha, Na Ajele, Koninka Kekle, Abagamami, Banyele Ake Washipone, Shikachinye Kenya, He Womye, Yukunim Yeli Efe Wono. So please vote for Na Ajele. So the short code star 713 star 13 hash. Or download the TV3 Reality app on Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. As Walt Disney rightly said, if you can dream it, you can do it. So please help me, let's bring the crown to the greater Accra region. Tonight, I will be serving you a delicious, tantalizing, palatable plate of a meal called the greater Accra region to relax and enjoy. Like butterflies, we navigate life's stream, unveiling serenity, fulfilling dreams. As caterpillars, we kept safe, till we blossom into works of allure. With rhythmic drums as nature's heart beats loud, chants that invoke ancestors' embrace. Naye, na sakumono, na kole, na shome. Proud women who went through this right and proved themselves worthy of womanhood and grace. Guiding us through a mistake her lower throat, empowering this transition sacred space. On the garlands, the sun's golden embrace, where ancient customs bid childhood cease. Abashimi Otofo, the sacred path. I will also trace. Today I cross the threshold to adulthood's release. I do an alluring dance to welcome suitors. I imbibe the fruitfulness of my womb as I was made to swallow an egg. I am adorned with rich girl women's regalia. <laughs> I am ready to be a woman. Today, the caterpillar becomes a butterfly. Eh, <laughs> One 
nyaya yemu kenya jo otofojo ni chonye na kile na kile yebi na kile tejo You just witness as the final part of my puberty rite called Otofo, performed by the people of Greater Accra Region. Oh, yes, the older woman you saw taught me great lessons and values that has initiated me into womanhood. Let me tell you what happened. I was made to swallow an egg. Hey, it must show me what. But I was told that as far as you are a virgin, this is possible. And so I hereby declare to you that I am purely virgin. And I am ready for the market. So even you, my gentleman, oh sir, or even you, can come and ask for my hand in marriage. Oh yes. But that is not to say this is the only right we have. We also have the deep puberty right, performed by the Dangmes. Oh, don't be confused. They are also part of the greater Accra region. We are made up of the Gans and the Dangmes. Our language is similar. That is why you hear a Dangme say, Auntie Janet, oh, hey, yeah, fell. But a girl will say, Auntie Chigodi, Oh, hey, yeah, fell. We are one people. Inke, no ko ba ni sene no. O bla no ko ba te shimami. And then he just screamed, nah. You should have seen how every lady responded. Yes. And he got scared. Then he asked, why are all girls called nah? Or ni? Then I had to explain to him. I know you all have that question. But tonight, that question ends. You know, as girls, we believe that we are royals. And now is the title for a queen, and me for a king. That is why you hear a name like Na Ajele, which basically means Queen Ajele. So tonight, Auntie Linda, I will call you Na Adole, because you are Queen Adole, and you are part of us. So I have given you this name. We also have a number of celebrations. Oh, you know of the Homawa Festival? The one that we sprinkle the food called Pekule to hoot at hunger. You also know of the Asafutu Fiami Festival. Nwele Miwae is performed by the Dangbes, yes. It marks the end of the conflict between the Gans and our neighboring tribes. We are so peaceful now. I'm sure all of you, some of you here are hungry. Ah. You know the best thing you need? Our famous kenke and fried fish. Now, come keke na, catch shit on up for your kami. Ah. Auntie Janet, open and came up here, habo, called Bena, Ninke Abo. We also have the banku and shitolo. What we do with hot pepper when you finish and you drink water? Ah, the satisfaction is heavenly. 
We are expensive people. That is why we have our own locally produced wine in the Republic of Greater Accra region. You won't get this anywhere. The corn wine, no natural and meda on a near. Yes, we have our own breakfast. JT, hello, NA. What the answer? Why makoko? Porridge that we make with our maize. Because as Greater Accra region, maize is our major food crop. We have a lot of beautiful things here in the Greater Accra region. Oh, you are confused. It is what you know as Jamestown. See, when the slave masters came, they found it so difficult to mention. But then they no try on a few. Can you blame them? Then they changed it to Jamestown and named it after the then governor, James. Shima Makenya Sanie. When I went, I saw a tunnel. And I was told that the slaves passed through that tunnel to the fort and to the point of no return. Human beings, ah, it must be But what took me out was a place they call Akpangawe. Jeme, okay, when the slaves die, they are brought there for vultures to feed on their bodies. Hey! In foing bami ya for fen, eya reho. But we do not like revisiting these stories. But this is central to the independence of Ghana. The story of slavery is very, very important. And that is why we are proud to say the body of Osajifu Dr. Kwame Kuma lies right here on our land. Oh, do you know the place? Kwame Kuma Memorial Park, the grand launch of Ghana's most beautiful 2023 just happened there. Yes, we also have the Independence Square, Asha Fort, Lighthouse, and lots of historic places. Even our streets have been named after the three sergeants. Sergeant Odate Lamte, Private, um, Private Ad Sergeant Ajete, Private Odate Lamte, and Corporal Atipo, because history is part of us. Now let's move away from that. In like should be an edible. Adventure. I'm sure most of you like to explore. Oh, yes, we have the Shy Hills. Oh, Ima, I'm sure you visited there as a, as a young person, yes. But if you haven't, it is not too late. We have the Dodoa Forest, the Lego Botanical Gardens, where you find the canopy walk and a lot of activities that will give you an adventure. But let's relax more. Are you not tired? Have you heard of the Aqua Safari? Auntie Linda. Auntie Janet, Auntie Jigodi, after this show, I know you will be so tired. So come with me to the Aqua Safari and I will serve you a lot of things. Oh, we have a lot of hotels here. You know, the greater Accra region, we are very hospitable. And it's because of our hospitable nature, that is why we are the capital city of Ghana. Let me tell you, see, trade and fishing is our greatest occupation. So I am not shy to tell you that we are the great contributors to the economy of Ghana. Oh yes, we have a representation of all the regions right here in the greater Accra region. So you don't even need to travel all the way to any place to have a feel of a culture. Now, koko che ni yo biene, how sanyo, amelia yejen lo. That being seller next to your house, Davi, eja igbe she ba biene. All the way from Ashanti region to the greater Accra region. And we have lived in harmony with them. And they have shared in our culture. Ah, We have the boxing in our region. Oh, no, no, that is our sport. Oh, me, I can boast that we have the greatest sports because not the international way. 
No, let me tell you something. In the greater Accra region, I don't have to tell you, come in January, come in February, come in March. No, any month at all, if you visit my region, there is an activity for you. Nako ba agase, obana homowo. Nako bina homowo. Do you know the Chale Water Festival? Yes! We are the proud organizers. We believe that the art industry is very lucrative. So please, my investors, imagine investing in a Chalwate festival. And after you are done, just in a day, making a lot of money, over 30,000 Ghana cities, in a day. So imagine if we invest and decide to do it more and more and more. Ah, a buffet film. We have a lot of things here that we know that when you come, you would enjoy. Afro Nation, Ejeme, Afro Chala, Ejeme. What do you want? Mention, and I'll point you right here to the Greater Accra region. Oh, wait. Do you know that if you want to stand in the center of the world, you just have to come to Temao. That is where the Green Rich Meridian passes. I stood in the middle of the world. Are you not happy about that? Oh, yes. You know, girls, we like to celebrate. No friend, only what feel, I will blame you. I shall tell you, she be a yo. We like to celebrate and do everything with joy. That is why people ask us, girls, why are you always enjoying? And not because we do not have problems, so, but because we have a positive spirit. We are hardworking. We have everything. We have trade. We have everything. This is the headquarters for every kind of trade, even the white collar jobs. So we decide to enjoy. That is why we have the headquarters for enjoyment. Oh, so now, okay, I fit the Friday, okay. She back and let me care back she. I fit the Sunday, okay. So we are coming to celebrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you ready to have fun? Are you ready to have fun? We have beautiful melodies from the greater Accra region. Ah, oh, let me be nice, okay? Today is Sunday. Which one do you want us to do? Ah, la la ne, kegwe menue, kame na mi shewa, di enche. Yele representing the Greater Accra region, the pride of the Greater Accra region is always making her region very proud. But at this point, I'll move over to our judges. I can see they are jaw jawing, but let me talk to Linda. Linda, did she sell her region for you? Hello. Yeah, sorry. Congratulations. Thank you. I think you did represent your region well. You are able to give us everything we need to be attracted to your region. Um, I, I, apart from that, you ha diction was yours. Poise, you have it. Well done. Congratulations. And then over to Janet. What are your comments? Now. Thank 
saying throughout the competition that I wanted to see the real you, the authentic now, and I think today you brought it to fall. You really, you, re I, I could, <laughs> I can now say who Na Ayele is, and thank you for doing that. Well done, congratulations. Thank you so much. Congratulations Na Ayele, and remember, tonight the judges have 60 percent of the power and you have 40 percent and so to make sure that Nayeli carries home the crown there are star 713 star 13 hash across all networks and vote for Nayeli. now we're down to the final contestant in this round she is the pride of the bunu region and tonight she will be doing it one more time for her region with a round of applause, let's welcome Kwatima from the Bunu region. Enu nyam ni asida, yesu runyam kopong dida. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, the Bible says we were like them that dreamed. People of Ghana, people of Bono, Nana no matin and Kunya more Bono Mantomo. Sunyani my hima, Nana could see us so dear Sika Bray, Doma Mani Henny, or Saji for or see a dear your doctor at your mind bedroom. Honorable Justina Ousu Bana Henny, Honorable Afarijan, Honorable Eric Aj, Honorable Said Mohammed, Madame Grace Bennett, Madame Hannah Chenewa, Mrs. Ofori Gloria. Team Kwatima, Presbyterian Church of Ghana, lecturers and students in UEW, Sunyani Senior High School old students and teachers, seniors bang wagon, Sunyani Mani, my mommy no name papa no mama to na dia wona na busuma, eni dwa ewo Sunyani ne bunu man mu nyanya. Nyame nsura mo, nyame onya mo kesee, samu aso mi mu abedru akansie impompon so se. Tonight Climax with me as I sell my region to you. Don't forget to vote massively again for Kwatima. Dial star 713 star 13 hash or download the TV3 reality app on Google Play Store or Apple App Store and vote massively for Kwatima. Remember that a vote for me means you are supporting a talented but needy someone.
I bring you greetings from the land of Bono, the land where tradition dances with modernity, the land where nature embraces the hearts of its people. You are welcome to the land of Bono once again. Imagine stepping into a world where the highlands meet a fertile plain, where the vast stretch of plantation of cocoa and coffee stretches as far as the eyes can see. Now, as you wander through our towns and villages, you will encounter vibrant festivals like the Kwefi Festival, which commemorates the bringing of fire to our land. Ejiana! Oja! Ejiana! Oja! The Apo Festival. people as of today as of today we are celebrating the Mekko Bono festival once again my people you are welcome to the land of Bono so on. Bono means pioneers first of its kind it is believed that the Bono people came all the way from Israel through to the Sahara and settled on the Bono Manso. Yeah. Present day Techiman. They were the first to settle on the land. They are the oldest. And Nuntina Yaboya Homra Nese Yeye Akam Piesi. We're careful. Geographically, the Bono region is located at the middle belt of Ghana with Sunyani as its capital. The Bono region is also noted for its fertile land. No wonder they call us the bread basket of Ghana. Yes. Uh now for the nature enthusiasts, my region offers natural attractions like the Chiridi Waterfalls, which is wedged between the Intra settlement. It is good for hiking and adventure. No, I don't know. Now imagine the light goes off for a second. So we say bedroom light. Now my sana swa. Kai we say bui dam wobi wobi. The bui dam contributes about four hundred thousand megawatts of power no. to the nation. Now do you know? Do you know? That the biggest mango tree in the whole West Africa is located in Bono. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The Krasi mango tree. Yeah. Now, make a date, okay, to experience the beautiful sunset of the Chimp Mountain in my region. Mo. Now, remind me, each and every one of you, that the moment you get to my region, I will take you to the BB Island. Because the BB Island. BB Island. I mean, the Bui Butterfly Island. Of course, there are a lot of hidden gems in the land of Bono that needs exploration. That is why it is very important for investors and agencies to come and invest. Don't worry about your stay and coming at all. We have serene and comfortable places to make you feel like a royal. So what? My visitors, hey, what do you prefer to eat? And now you have no problem at all. You should know that the Bono ladies are noted to be the best cooks in Ghana. They call us Bedi Anko. I mean, Bedi Anko, which means eat and stay. No wonder visitors cry aloud, Meko Bono. Meko Bono, Meko Bono, Meko Bono, Meko Bono. Ladies and gentlemen, 
in the land of Bono, every corner reveals a new treasure, and every friend, a new person. Wow. Linda, are you mesmerized? <laughs> Eloquence, maybe I show. Content, maybe I show. Congratulations. Congratulations, Kwatima and Jibodi. You've been clapping the whole time. Tell us something. I remember our last conversation with Kwatima, and we were talking about how gifted and talented you are. In terms of this competition, you have brought it when it comes to talent, your drumming, your dancing, your singing. And we told her that we want to see creativity on the last day. Come and see creativity today. Um, <laughs> her, her entrance alone, I always say that I think when it comes to, I'll add to Linda, creativity, Mimao 10. I can't PSCA, Bedianko. I have learned something about the Bono region. Well done, Fatima. Come and see creativity. And of course, it's not just about cheering her on, but make sure that you're voting for her because the voting lines are still active. And the short code is star 713 star 13 hash. One more time, let's do it for Kwatima. So we've seen all five ladies in the first round of the competition. But remember, we have another one to go. But even before that, let's acknowledge the presence of some dignitaries right here. And of course, we have our group CEO, Madam Beatrice Sajiman with us, looking so beautiful. Thank you for joining us, Madam. And uh, to some of our sponsors as well who are here, we have Nagaraju Galipelli, uh, Solomon Sakite, Priscilla Danjo from Shalina, and we have Benjamin Bokovi coming from GMR Industries. We have Mr. George Edu Mensa from Dragnet. We have Dr. Techi Nutifafa from Ghana Herb. We have Solomon Pepper from um, uh, Coast Foods, producers of Sankofa Spices. Also, we have Beatrice Anan as well from Sankofa Spices. Samuel Denchi Boating from Union Beverages, providers, um, producers of Vitamilk. Barbara Inkum from Alpha Industries, also here with us. We have Clement Atagra from NS Chemist as well. As we proceed, obviously, we will be doing the needful and acknowledging you all. But as always, like we've been doing in the studio, we have some Gino and Techno stickers under the seat. So just take some few seconds, check under your seats. You may be lucky and get something special from uh, Gino, I mean, GB Foods and also Techno. So check and see if you can find the stickers. Okay. Uh-huh. Wave it, wave it. Nice one. So keep it. Don't give it to anyone because 
we will come around with your packages. And of course, uh, like I mentioned earlier, GTP is making sure that we're looking good tonight and they're providing all the fabrics. And if you're here or watching us from home and you want to purchase some GTP fabrics, it is shop at GTP. And so we will be projecting the QR code. You can scan it and then get to purchase some beautiful GTP fabrics as well. This is the grand finale of Ghana's most beautiful 2023 We're Taking a quick commercial break. When we come back, there's more right here on the show. Do stay. <laughs> Settle down. Please settle down. Settle down. We are getting there slowly but surely, but we need your cooperation here. Please settle down so we can get into this segment. Thank you. Anita, you are speaking. All right, so this is the question and answer segment. It is a crucial part of this entire um, event this evening. And of course, we will be testing the ladies, their knowledge in certain areas when it comes to our development as a nation and also when it comes to social issues, things bordering on tourism and a whole lot. And so this evening for the segment, we're starting with Adwanigi. <laughs> Rejo Simba, we wish you well. We know you are smart, you are beautiful, you are learned. You are from this region, of course, uh, competing for Ghana, the most beautiful. We are all supporting you. And we know you are going to come out with flying colors for this region and also to help the teaming you, the teaming girls uh, that are going to emulate you, teaming your youth who are going to emulate you. We wish you well and all of us are going to be supporting you, praying behind you. And we know, usually Upper Easterners, when we are doing something, we get it. We know you are going to carry uh, the joys uh, at the end of the day. And we hope you, we hope that you come with flying colors. Thank you very much. So from the Upper East region, let's welcome Adwaniki. There she comes. She commands and we stay. The whole world stops and stirs. She's the backbone of the homeland. Wise enough to be a ruler, a mother, a warrior. She's a queen. She's the backbone of her homeland. Welcome, Adriana. Looks so you lovely. Look so lovely, Adrian. Absolutely Higi. stunning. And congratulations Thank you. for making it this far. We have a bowl over there. Kindly pick one of the papers and hand it over to me. All right. So, your question is question number six. And, uh, Adwanigi, listen attentively. Some people are of the view that there is the need to be more deliberate about tourism. They are convinced that Ghana hasn't properly positioned itself to derive the best out of tourism. What is your opinion on the state of tourism in Ghana? And what do you suggest must be done to ensure that the nation increases its tourist numbers? Thank you for the question. I should take it one more time. All right, no problem. So it says, some people are of the view that there's the need to be more deliberate about tourism. They are convinced that Ghana hasn't properly positioned itself to derive the best out of tourism. What is your opinion on the state of tourism in Ghana? And what do you suggest must be done to ensure that the nation increases its tourist numbers and tourism revenue? Are you okay? Yes, please. Right. Thank you very much for the question. We are Africans, Ghanaians, and we are uniquely blessed with historical tourist sites in our country. 
I believe that tourism is one of the sectors that can contribute massively revenue into our country. Now, I would plead with the government and private institutions, investors, to collaborate, to be able to rebrand the tourism sector. Now, we have beautiful historical tourist sectors, but then one of the things that people do not really have passion to visit these tourist sectors is because they are not rebranded like the way they want to see it. So I would plead that rebranding, renovation, and inadequate infrastructure. Sometimes you want to visit these tourist sectors, but then you are thinking, okay, it doesn't really match to the level I want to. I know Dubai wasn't Dubai like that, but because they have invested so much into their tourism. Now today, if you want to visit one of the best countries to have the luxury, you would want to visit Dubai. So I believe that as Ghanaians, our institutions, the government, and everyone should come on board. Let's push the tourism agenda. And I know that one day we will become even better. In, in, it will become even better than Dubai. And then whenever someone mentioned Ghana, the first thing that would come into our mind is Ghana is known for our historical tourist site. Thank you. Thank you so much, Adu Anigi. And of course, uh, talking about tourism, Adu Anigi, you can take your final walk and go backstage. Adwanigi gone by. Now we are still testing the intellectual capabilities of all our five final contestants. Coming up next, she is from the Northern region, Nura. But before she comes on stage, let's take a message from her MP. Thank you, Aisha, to see you today. Minister Chief Executive of Sabu. I'm here to talk about URA representing the North in this year's uh, Ghana Miss Beauty. I have had the opportunity to watch her for the weeks that have passed by, and I think that she's been able to represent us as modernness in our cups and showcase what it is that we have. We need to support her. For me, I think that this is the time for us to show that. We really love Mira for her competence and other skills that she has. She's very eloquent as we watch her throughout the program. She actually deserves to bring the crown to the north. I think it is for us all to come together and for her. So that at the final day, she, she actually crowned as the Ghana Miss Beautiful for the year 2023. I'm pleading and hoping and asking each and every one of us to be on board. She needs us to get you. Thank you. Nura has joined us here on stage. Nura, I believe you're ready for your question of the night. Yes. All right, so there's some numbers in front of you. Please pick one, hand it over to me, and it will direct me to your question. Right, Nura has question number one. You would want to pay attention, Nura. Okay. okay. Youth unemployment is one of the key challenges facing Ghanaian governments. Indeed, there were 1.76 million unemployed Ghanaians, and the rate of unemployment in 2022 was 5.3%. Nura, what, in your view, are three key important policies to address unemployment in general here in Ghana and youth unemployment in particular. Are you okay? Yes, I'm Should okay. Should I take it again or you're fine? I'm okay. Okay, go ahead. Thank you very much. So when it comes to youth unemployment, any person who is amongst the youth in Ghana can relate because taking my friend Aisha, for example, Aisha was born to 
underprivileged parents, uneducated parents. And Aisha grew up, her parents got worked tooth and nail to put her through school in hope, hoping that when she gets out of school, she would come, get a job, and then support them. But then what happens when Aisha graduates from a university without a job? It means the same cycle continues. So youth unemployment is a serious issue in Ghana, and it needs to be curbed. How? Some causes of youth unemployment are, one, the government's inability to create jobs. Two, sometimes when people get into businesses, young people want to open and start up their own businesses. Since the economy is in a crisis, they are unable to continue or get enough capital to fund their businesses. They are unable to sustain those businesses. Right, so youth unemployment is something that is highly critical, that attention must be drawn to. I believe that when government takes certain measures to help support young people who want to go into entrepreneurship, government puts in place measures to grow our agri sector and other sectors in the country that can help boost our economy, to grant people jobs, create jobs for people, grant them avenues through which they can create jobs. I believe youth unemployment will be kept. Also, we have youth going into social vices, getting pressured by their peers due to unemployment. So you see them getting into fraudulent activities. They begin to do what is termed as sakawa, just because they are unemployed. In the north, we have an upsurge of drug abuse, right? And it's a real menace. And all this is partly due to unemployment in the country. Thank you very much. Noura from the Northern region. Thank you very much for answering the question. You may please go backstage. Thank you, Noura. She's the backbone of the homeland, wise enough to be a ruler, mother, a warrior. She okay. So, from the Northern region, we're moving on to the Volta region. And Salom is up next to answer her question. But before that, let's take a look at a message from her MP. Bangawego. I bring you greetings from the entire membership of the Ketan Municipal Assembly. And on my own behalf, the Honorable Municipal Chief Executive of Keta, Honorable Emmanuel Gamada. When the GMB team came to present you to us at Abo, I told you one thing. I blessed you with one thing. And that was that eviction will evade you. And by the grace of the Almighty God, God has helped you through to this far. Ebenezer, we thank you, our Most High God. Today, you are going to the, into the grand finale of this contest. I know for one thing, only one thing, though it's a contest, and per your last performance, when you were adjudged the star performer and the best costume, sell up. Nothing else awaits you than the crown. Do your best and bring the crown to Abo and Abu Jacoba, both within the Kata Municipal Assembly. Salam, kindly pick up one of the papers in the bowl and let me have it. Okay, so Cookie, you can do us the honors and let me know the number. Okay, Salam has question number four, Anita. Question number four. Salam, kindly listen attentively. Many Ghanaians have called for a reform of the free SHS policy. It is said that the current form is filled with skills, development challenges, teacher training, and orientation difficulties. 
inadequate resources and delays in the release of funds to schools. What is your view on the free SHS policy being implemented by the government? Thank you for the question. The free SHS policy, I believe, is a good policy because it has lifted the financial burdens on parents and has also provided free access to education to the second cycle to every Ghanaian, regardless of their status. Yes. I remember when my mom passed away, so my cousin was living with us, and I was thinking how we are going to pay her school fees. So when this policy was introduced, we were very happy. She's now in secondary school, and all thanks be to God. But this policy has come with a lot of challenges, and we can all attest to it, because we don't have infrastructure to accommodate all this increasing number of students. And as a teacher on the field, I know how this is affecting us in the classroom, because we have a um, large classroom number, also making us not to meet individual needs in the classroom, hence impeding the aim of education, which is behavioral change in the individual. So, But I think we can all come together to restructure and implement this policy very well. So I'm urging all stakeholders and governments to build more infrastructure and also continue on the new ones that they are, uh, they are the one that we are having. They can build new ones too. And also they should allocate more funds to be able to procure learning and teaching materials in the classroom for us to be able to push the agenda of education because Ghana, education is our success. We pride in education. So this policy is a good one because even our minority caucus has accepted it, meaning it's a good one. So I think we can all come together and build it in a way that everybody can enjoy freely. Yes. Again. Also, All right. Also, Salam is done answering her question. So, from the yes, Volta region, let's head straight to, of course, where we are, the Greater Accra region. Now, Ayele is coming up stage. Abladia B, Odehia B, Mam B. Me hang your money, Nimmy Banny do money. In bed, you know, you lean no batch and you can claim. Gun fair money had become be oblique or blahing. Imanche, Niji came to hit ever through the second. Hey, hang your fair money. Let me name Shanine, Beckene, Kenyan, and me a beer. Ben Nile Hammond, he won't. Nile Hammond. Ni domo me, ha, greater Accra region. Yeah, Ghana's most beautiful, I can't share me. Na ole ake, gamu en fe en fiu se. Wan shi bo kon, o bo mo den. O wo gan fe en hi an u nyan. Bo aiko. Chi wak beko na. Mene, o ba ne. Ji a kan share na be. One few say, no only at one few say. But no bomb or dink at the shija who can she be an eh, channel how. Gun fan few say. We could we could we could in your mean fan few say. Well, why are ye? Wooler men, mancha men can man your men fan few say. We can be man be fan few say. One few say, just solemn. Or by few say, care voting. Kashe no kogbe ye, okule jen yung mong fito he. Manche men, manye men. Se ni ametla no fen fiyo se. Gamu e fen fiyo se. Aiko yo kon wale. Wale yo wale yake. Ake kle e eba bagane. E shin biye e ya he kwe yoko. Ake kle e wononi. Waba he ke bagane. Mo aiko. 
All right. And now Ayele seated beautifully, and it is time to test her intellect. Nayeli, welcome Thank to you. this segment. Please pick your question so we can read it out. Fantastic. Let me have it. Ladies and gentlemen, Nayeli has picked question number three. Please listen carefully. The passage of E. Levy last year generated a lot of controversy and dis <laughs> disaffection among parliamentarians and a pushback from many Ghanaians. Some have suggested that the E. Levy should be scrapped. Nayeli. What is your opinion on taxes and levies imposed on the Ghanaian by the government? Thank you for the question. First of all, we appointed the government. We gave them the power to be there to make decisions in our interest. And I believe that before any decision comes out or any policy is given, they discuss it, weigh the pros and cons, and finally come out with it. So when they passed the E-Levy -Levy, e bill, yes, there were lots of backlashes, but then we saw the positive aspects of it. I believe that it has contributed to the economy of Ghana positively. Yes. <laughs> you know, just like every other thing that exists, it would have its advantages and disadvantages. And so, yes. It has its advantages. Let's look at that aspect. But for the negative aspect, I believe that Ghanaians have spoken. The president has heard. The government has heard. And I don't believe that they are just seated there watching us and doing nothing. I believe that they intend to do something about it. With everything, we may not be able to just eliminate it, but we can manage it and make it appropriate to the interest of all Ghanaians. And we'll be happy. Thank you so much. Now, Ayele answering her question. Now, Anita, on to the last contestant for of course, this segment. And it is Kwatima from the Bunu region. Yes, 
So pick your um, question from the bowl, hand it over to me, and I'll ask you your question. Okay. All right, and so Kwatima, your question is question number two. Okay. Kindly listen with rapt attention. There have been a lot of agitations, protestations, picketing, demonstrations, and general demand for social and economic development in Ghana lately. What, in your view, are three actions that the Ghanaian government should take to ensure that it satisfies the citizens to cut down on the many demonstrations taking place? First of all, thank you so much for the question. I believe that the government of Ghana is in his right position doing his best. But then in the economy, I would suggest that to the individual, if we put up a right, right attitude towards our work, it will ensure a very powerful productivity where the production of goods and services in our country will be increased. And so things like that, um, I will um, individually talk, I will talk to the individual at hand. And then to the government, I think he should, um, just as the monetary policy is concerned, he should um, make policies that will influence the central bank on the need of supply and demand of money in the country. And then when it comes to that, the demand and supply in the country will be managed. And so um, the economic system of Ghana will be um, on a very good note. So Kwatima, I asked you to mention three. Okay. You're giving us one. All Two right. more to go. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I will also ensure that the government put policies and then in place to let people be assigned to duties where the um, the leaders of the particular region, the regional ministers, the others will be in charge where they can also contribute massive to the economy of Ghana. That is your final answer. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Kwatima, representing the Bunu region. You can go backstage. So at this point, we'll just move over to all three judges, starting from Jibodi and we'll take their comments um, on all five ladies. And so, Jibadi, we're starting with you. Hey, you, you ladies, you're, 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 you're taking us to another level, Anita. You know I won't stop without saying it. We know. Anyway, don't you think they look ravishing? Clap for them for me. So, I think that when it, when it comes to eloquence, all the ladies had it. When you are in an interview is tough. I know public speaking is tough. So I think all of them have done well. Please clap for them. We must think about the hot seat when it comes to interviews. So I would say that um, for Adwanige, she did her best. She was able. Nura also did her best, and she gave an answer regarding um, unemployment. 
um, the third person that came was, no, no, it wasn't Selim. Okay, it was three policies. Okay, so it was Selim. She also did her best. Na did her best. And Kwatima ultimately did her best. So I would say that as a public speaker, they were in a tough place, but they did their best to answer with confidence. All right, thank all right. you so much, Jibodi. Linda, let's have your comments on all five ladies. <laughs> um, I'll start with um, Adwanije. Um, I think she did, she did okay. She mentioned um, the tourism sites and gave some information. I, I felt that she could have done a little more. So I gave her maybe half mark. For Nura Youth Employment, I think that she spent a lot of time telling us about the problems, but didn't give us the three things you were asking her to give. Salom, I think, did justice to the question. question was e levy uh, people didn't like her answer but she answered it well Fatima I think went completely off Anita you gave her an opportunity to come back that went really bad as well so these are my comments congratulations to all of them very candid comments yeah. from Linda cookie over to you yes Janet what's your take on all the five finalists? Um, I think <laughs> generally, generally, having known the girls... Please of, settle down so we can hear Janet, please. Thank you. We've, we've been with the ladies throughout, and most of the time when we see them, they would have rehearsed before coming on stage. So we judge them by what we see. Today is the only opportunity where they are caught on the spot. So I'm going to be very, very candid and permit me because I think the first part of the night could have been anybody's game, but now we can tell the difference. So I'm going to be very, very straightforward. Forgive me if I'm not too popular tonight, but I'm going to be very straightforward. So Nigi, Nigi talked about tourism. Um, for me, you were asked, you are, you are going to improve from something to something. She spent time talking about the something without telling me how she was going to improve to that something. So she didn't sell us a dream, she didn't sell us a promise. She kept on say, saying we should rebrand, but rebrand it how? That was not clear at all, as far as I'm concerned. As far as Nura is concerned, yes, Nura did take a lot of time to highlight the problems. But Nora talked a lot about the causes and the problems without telling us much about the solutions. So she missed the bar on that as well. Let's go to Selom. Selom being a teacher, I wasn't surprised that she was very pragmatic and very pra practical. All right, settle down, please. Turn it down. Turn it down for us so she can continue. So Salam was very pragmatic with her solution. She gave her two solutions. The first was on the infrastructure, and the second was on funding. So for that, I think she did very well. Okay, now let's move on to Naa Yele. So Naa Yele's question was on the e-levy. All right. Now, Yele, she bit around the bush a lot. And finally, finally, she said that the e-levy contributed positively to the economy. Well and taken. How? The ordinary Ghanaians should feel it in their pockets. If you ask me how they're feeling it, I don't know. Now, let's go to Kwatima. Kwatima, um, I don't know what happened tonight. <laughs> But Kwatima talked a lot without saying anything concrete. So that's why I said I'm not going to be very popular tonight. Thank you so much. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with the segment. Do we have our winner already? Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Moving on, we would love to acknowledge some of our sponsors. AT, thank you so much for coming aboard GMB 2023. AT, making life simple. Now, AT says to tell you that they've gone digital. So instead of buying physical talk time or credits, as we call it in Ghana, you can actually do that on your phone through transfer. So dial star 110 hash, and you can do all that on your phone. Anita. All right. So we have some more acknowledgments uh, from Mankish Impacts Limited, producers of Enapa Foods and Heaven Insect Size Spray and Mosquito Coil. We have Mr. Rocky Muchadani. Thank you so much for joining us. From Unilever, we have um, Ruben Sam, Elvis Chumesi, Ajua Buedu, Yabawia, um, Emmanuel Autry, and the team is from Unilever Ghana PLC and PhD Media. Oh, from GTP, we have Ruben Sam, yes, from GTP, I beg your pardon. And from Techno, we have Mr. Lolon Lu, Miss Milky, Mr. NS Sonko, Mr. Godlove Kweku, and from GB Foods, we have David Aflu, Amit Mahajan, Fiona Anthony, Stephen Boafoa, Samuel Derry, Walter Esa. Thank you so much. And also, if you have your techno stickers and GB food stickers, kindly wave it, wave it, wave it. Um, we have some ladies coming around to present your packages to you. And of course, if you want some GTP fabrics, visit shop.gtpfashion.com and we will be projecting the QR code and you can scan it as well. Well, we're taking a quick commercial break. When we come back, we have a beautiful surprise for you and then we get into the crowning moment. Do stay. <laughs> by the remarkable Maya Angelou. She said, we all should know that diversity makes for a rich tapestry. And we must understand that all the shreds of the tapestry are equal in value, no matter their color. In many ways, the Ghana's most beautiful crown embodies the essence of Maya Angelou's words. It represents the rich fabric of our nation a fabric woven with diverse threads of culture, tradition, and beauty. But what truly makes this crown extraordinary is not just its gleaming jewels, but the hearts and aspirations of the incredible women who have worn it over the years. This crown has witnessed journeys that traverse our nation's landscapes, from the bustling markets of Accra to the serene shores of Cape Coast, from the lush forests of the eastern region to the savannas of the northern region, it has been a symbol of hope, unity, and empowerment. And today, we gather here to celebrate the legacy of Queen Tuntea Dahamani, Ghana's most beautiful 2022, my legacy. My reign has been nothing short of extraordinary. My team and I have executed projects that have illuminated the path of progress. From breast cancer screening that gave hope to Kaya girls at the Medina market in October 2022, to the training of 10 women in November 2022 to make pastries and set them up for businesses, we've left no stone unturned. We have donated food items to women in Rugu in January and in February, alongside the National Youth Authority, we sensitized students of various secondary schools in Tamale on issues pertaining to sex, especially unprotected sex. In March, we took a giant step by launching the Tuntea Dahamani Foundation. We distributed 10 sewing machines, 10 smoke weaving machines, and hair dryers to the young girls under the Kaya Lahakani project. In May, we donated sanitary pads and period bees to students of Zodjali Block C, courtesy Lead Africa. In June, we commissioned a borehole for Lung Sufong, 
thanks to the Universal Islamic and Cultural Trust. In July, we organized a reproductive health seminar for students of Tamale Technical University and the University for Development Studies City Campus. In August, we donated food items and detergents to students with autism at the Chama Primary School in Tamale. In September, another set of 10 sewing machines were donated to the young girls under the Kaila Hakani project. Together, we have proven that when we stand united, we can achieve greatness to create a brighter future for our beloved nation. But beyond the projects, awards and the crown, it is the love, the passion and the dedication with which I have seen myself rise into the work that truly defines this reign. Today, I stand here with immense gratitude, not only for the crown, but for the platform it has provided. It is a platform that has allowed me to initiate projects that touch lives and empower communities. As the journey of Ghana's Most Beautiful 2022 comes to an end, I stand before you humbled and grateful for the incredible year we've had. To our generous sponsors and philanthropists, your unwavering support has been the heartbeat of this pageant, breathing life into dreams and projects that uplift our community. To my amazing family, my incredible mom and dad, your love and encouragement have been my guiding light. You've shown me the power of unconditional support and I carry your love with me in everything I do. To the remarkable team at the Tunte Dahamani Foundation, your dedication and tireless efforts have turned dreams into reality. It's been a year of joy, of learning, of giving and of becoming. May we all be inspired by this beautiful journey. I bid farewell to my reign as Ghana's most beautiful queen 2022. But remember, the story is far from over. The projects, the impact and change continue. Thank you and let's keep making our nation beautiful. kapai. Thank you so much to the great Dagbom Nation for holding me down. Welcome back, welcome back. It's still GMB 2023 and we are about to wrap it all tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, there are so many prize packages you see behind us. Our sponsors are many and we are blessed to have all of them on GMB 2023. Let's quickly run through what all the contestants, your five finalists, are getting tonight. All of them, all five, are getting hampers from Darling Lemon. Save 500 is also giving them hampers. Shalina is giving them Shalate and Shalter's hampers. And of course, NS Chemist is giving all of them a hamper from NS Chemist. Anita. And Vitamilk is giving a box of Vitamilk uh, to the first, second, and third runner ups uh, as well. And also, Mankish Impex, Heaven Insecticides, and Napa Foods. Um, they are donating 5,000 pieces of exercise books to all 16 GMB ladies as part of their CSR activity to promote education in all regions right here in Ghana. And Sankofa Natural Spices has given the ladies also some hampers uh, to take home. And Top Choco is also given our ladies a beautiful hampers to say, well done. Now, Cookie, this is where we get into the crux of the matter, the moment we've all been waiting for. That time we've waited with bated breath for. And so we will be starting with the fourth position. Our fourth position winner will be getting a cash prize of 4,000 Ghana cities and products are from Unilever Ghana PLC. That is products like a Geisha, Pepsodent, and Key Soap. And to do us the honors, we have Ajua Gwedi, Assistant Brands Manager at Oral Care. So if Ajwa is here with us, okay, thank you so much. 
And so, Ghana voted. Our judges also scored. And coming in as our fourth runner up with 13.6% is. Adwaniki! Congratulations, Adwaniki. She gets a cash prize of 4,000 Ghana CDs. She will also be getting products from Unilever Ghana. Geisha Pepsodent Key Soap. Congratulations, Adwaniki. Okay, moving on to the third runner up for tonight. Wrapping it all up for GMB 2023. She's getting products from Bell Pack, inclusive of kitchen towels, pocket tissue, toilet rolls, and table napkins. With 16.9 points, ladies and gentlemen, she's getting a cash prize of 6,000 Ghana cities. Ghana sweethearts, everybody's sweethearts. Nana Mama Brown will be here to do us the honors. Please give it up for Nana Mama Brown. Ghana sweethearts, Nana Mama Brown. Thank you, ma'am. Our third runner up, GMB 2023, ladies and gentlemen, Nura. 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 Thank you, Nana Mama Mike Brown. Anita. Yes, and let's so, journey on. Congratulations, Nura. We're moving on to our second runner up. That's a big one. And our second runner up will be getting products 4,000 CDs worth of medical insurance cover and a spa treatment from Dragnet. GTP Fabrics for hair as well and also she will be getting a trip to Dubai by kind Ketsi Global Wings Travel and Tour and of course the fabrics she will be getting from Textiles Ghana Limited and for the cash prize she will be getting 8,000 Ghana cities to do as the honest, Miss uh, Joyce Ahiadome of Textiles Ghana Limited will be doing us the honors. And uh, coming in with 18.4%, our second runner up for GMB 2023 is Quatima! She gets 8,000 Ghana CDs. 
4,000 cities worth of medical insurance cover and spa treatments from Dragnet. Quartima, don't Quartima. go yet. Quartima, don't Quartima. go yet. <laughs> this one. And she takes over from a Siedua, her second runner-up for GMB 2022. Okay. That leaves us with Selom and Nayeli. Please move forward. The rest kindly go backstage. Selom and Nayeli, come forward. Who is it going to be? Who is the GMB queen? 2023. Yes, Quatima, okay. that's for you. That's for you. All right. Filter. Okay. Filter, let's go. Filter, please so, hold on. Now, getting into the price package for our first runner up, she gets 6,000 cities worth of medical insurance from a drug net and a spa treatment. She gets one month full spa treatments, four sessions for a month from Claliza Spa, 5,000 Ghana CDs from Techno, 2,000 CDs worth of Techno products, and an all new Camon 20 smartphone from Techno. She would also get packages, of course, from Gino, She's traveling abroad, kind Ketsi, Global Wings Travel and Tour. And Media General is also giving her 10,000 Ghana cities. Bakuki, even before we announce, well, well the cash price is actually 15,000 15, Ghana cities. But you know something, it's just no, right. this is for our first runner up. Okay. Yes. You know something? Our queen, <laughs> Teya, it is just right that she takes her final walk. Before we proceed, and so quickly, Taya, take your final walk. She's an African today. Very special, she's a queen from my motherland. Oh, she does speak, she commands some respect. The whole world stops and stares. She's the backbone of the homeland. Why is it not All right, ladies. Ladies, you can just go back for us. All right. So now let's move on to what our winner is getting. Such a juicy package. And so our winner, our queen, is taking home 10,000 CDs worth of medical insurance cover and spa treatments from Dragnet. She's getting VVIP access to spa services for three months at Cleliza Spa, a bouquet from Nadash Global Events and Techno, our proud sponsor, is giving her the Techno Come On 20 smartphone and 5,000 CDs worth of Techno products. She's also going on a trip to Dubai by kind courtesy of our official travel partner for GMB, which is Global Wings Travel and Tour. And proudly from Media General, we are giving her a car, we are giving her a cash prize of 15,000 Ghana CDs. And of course, that trip, Media General is also proudly sponsoring it. Ghanaians are waiting, Cookie. Yes. It's just right that we get into that moment. We have Salom. Yes. We have Nayeli. Yes. Volta region. Greater Accra region. Ghana. Africa. Yes. It is with great honor that we announce to you that your GMB queen 2023 is is
our first runner-up. Shall we have Mr. David Affle, General Manager of GB Foods? General Manager of GB Foods and Mr. Ernest Sonko, National Channel Manager of Techno. Yes, to help us with the presentations. Let's do Gino. Mr. Afo, Nayele, please come forward. Take your price packages. Congratulations to you, Nayele. Thank you, Techno. 5,000 Ghana CDs. Techno come on 20 smartphones. And 2,000 Ghana CDs worth of Techno products. Thank you so much, Mr. Anderson. Thank you. Thank you. Now, shall we do our crowning of the newest queen in town? Salam from the Volta region. All right, so she gets fifteen thousand Ghana CDs as her cash prize and that sash that gives her the bragging rights as Ghana's most beautiful 2023 So Salom, you're taking over from Queen Taya. And as tradition demands, she's passing on that enviable crown to our latest queen, Salom, from the Volta region. Yes. From Nadash Global Events. And Dragnet is also giving her 10,000 CDs Salam. worth of medical insurance. Salam. Salam, take your money from Dragnet. Take your money from Dragnet. Queen in town. 
GMB 2023. Mama Yakaba, Magdalene Salo. From the Volta region. Mama Yakaba. Congratulations, Salom. Kindly take a seat. And congratulations, Nayeli. Congratulations, Kwatima. It's been a good run. Kwatima. You've done extremely well, and yes. we're super proud of you. Yes. Well, it's been 13 weeks. Nayeli. Salom, take a seat. Salom, take a seat. We know you are not here. Salom, why, 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 why? It feels so surreal, I know. But this has been a wrap of what a beautiful season has been. Of course, finally, we have our queen, Selom, from the Volta region. My name is Anita Ekia Ekufu. It's been an absolute pleasure keeping you company all throughout the last 13 weeks. Of course, I haven't done this alone. I've been doing this with a beautiful Quickie T. Thank you so much. See you next year. Stay well. God bless.